This video has been brought to you by the Landscape Certified Contractors Association. Due to the membership support, we're able to bring content to each and every one of you. If you have a topic or a product you'd like us to review, or if you want to become a member, visit www.irrigatortech.com and hope to hear from you soon. Enjoy the video. How you doing? This is Richard Daigle, and I wanted to tell you some knowledge about solenoids today and how they work and basically they get 24 volts so you would have your typical solenoid here that you would get and when you give it 24 volts it just pops it right up and the plunger goes up and that's what opens the valve automatically so the next thing that I want to be able to explain to you is that there's lots of different types of valves so this valve looks very similar to an air trawl valve. But really, it's an air trawl and a hit valve. So the nice thing about this is that I can take the diaphragm, looks a little different, but I can take a hit diaphragm and stick it in an air trawl valve and take an air trawl diaphragm assembly and put it in a hit valve. And it's the same diaphragm. So if you're ever stuck and you think, wow, I just went into a store and I need to get a diaphragm assembly, and somebody came in and said, hey, I got a hit valve and I need a diaphragm assembly and your distributor that does not have it or uh, anybody that you know, you can get an air trawl and stick it in the same valve. So there's a universal amount that you can take an air trawl or a hit valve and use the same diaphragms for. Okay, the next thing for you to know is that I can use this, this you can see on this hit valve, the solenoid's different but it's not really different. I can take a hit valve and put a orbit solenoid or a hydro rain solenoid on it. And it will work exactly the same plunger length with which this is a plunger. It'll work exactly on the hit valve. Here is a orbit valve right here and I can put that solenoid on that one. Here is an irritrol. So if you got a irritrol valve, which would fit on this valve right here that I took apart earlier, so you've got this valve. If I'm at a store and, I, and the customer says, hey, you know, I can't get and I do not have a 811 Eritrol solenoid, you can use a Hydro Rain solenoid on it. And it'll work exactly the same as the 811 solenoid. So there's your universal. So if I'm looking, I got a Hydro Rain solenoid. I can use it on an Eritrol. I can use it on a hit. I can use it on an Orbit, I can use it on a Water Master, I can use it on a Hydro Rain, I can use it on a Champion, and here's another Champion valve that it's on, and then a, even a Drip valve. So basically you could purchase the Hydro Rain solenoid and use it on any of these valves that are named brand. As well is that if you had hit solenoids, you could use them on any of the brands or Orbit, you could use the same thing. Same solenoid is interchangeable. So if I have an Eritrol 811 solenoid, I can take that 811 solenoid on an Eritrol and I can put it on a orbit valve, hit valve, a water master valve, a standard orbit, a hydro rain valve, a hydraulic valve, or a champion valve. So which is kind of nice that all these manufacturers somehow have got together and are using the same solenoid. Yes, it might say orbit here or hit molded into the into the uh, solenoid itself but it's all interchangeable so if you go into your local store and they say hey i don't have this now you know that i can use an orbit hydro rain irritrol hit any of these solenoids will be interchangeable and it works really well so that's a really neat thing so there's just millions of the orbit any siphon valve on there and you can get the cap take this off and you got your floating cap. And if you needed one of those, you can use a hydro rain or you can use an orbit and it'll work on here. This solenoid right here, I can take this off and put it right onto a hydro rain valve and it will work. Okay, this is a hydro rain valve. Same diaphragm as this one, same diaphragm as an irritrol, same solenoid as an irritrol. And then you've got your cap here. It's on there pretty tight. But this cap right here will work directly right on to that one okay if you've got a water master the little green water master valve there's a lot of those out there even the rain jet 
So if you've got a rain jet valve that's an anti-siphon valve, the same solenoid that's on a Watermaster, Orbit, Hydro Rain, Irritrol is all interchangeable. I know that seems kind of confusing, but if you make a note and say, hey, I can use the Hydro Rain, Orbit, Irritrol, and Hit, Champion, and that's all interchangeable. So if you go to a store, they go, they don't have that, and you go, oh my gosh, I can't find it, or you can't find it on the internet. You can now interchange any of these solenoids and use them and cross-reference them to the same one, which helps you a lot. And what a solenoid is, it actually has a piece of metal on this. We'll get a close-up on it, and it has copper. The more copper that's in it, the more the magnet pulls up the plunger. So it's a piece of metal. They mold it, and it's like a giant transformer. The wires come in, as you can see in here. It's all solder, soldered together, molded all in one piece. The more copper, the lower the readings, the farther you can run that valve, the better ohms reading you have on this. And that's what a solenoid looks like. Every one of them, if they were clear, it's just a, cop, a metal sleeve filled with copper. And then that pulls it up when it gets 24 volts. So that's a nice thing to know. Nice thing to know is I can get an irritrol diaphragm or I can get a hit diaphragm or an orbit any siphon diaphragm and they're all interchangeable the seats will work on each one may look a little different but they're interchangeable so you may want to try that in a fix to make sure that you're testing your valve and you can untake this if you've got an irritrol or any of these valves unscrew this and if you got a ding with a rock inside here just flip the seat stick it back in and then now you don't have a rock and a ding in it you can do it only one time so make sure that you use O-ring lube, put it around it, seal it, set it back on. If you look, open it up and go, oh, the diaphragm's fine, but I need a new seat. Look at a rock hit it, and it put a big ding inside of it. Just unscrew it, take the seat out with a little screwdriver, just pop it right out, boom, like that, and then drop it, flip it upside down, stick it in, and you've got another couple years worth of wear and tear on the diaphragm. So just for you to know, there's different valves, different jar tops with different diaphragms, and they're all interchangeable. You can take this Irritrol and you just pop it out and put a new diaphragm in it, and it'll last a long time too. So Irritrol can be very interchangeable, and so can Hydro Rain, Orbit, Champion, a bunch of different type, and HIT. So I just wanted to give you guys this message to help you out when you're in the field you get stuck and you need a new cap sometimes the caps break like this one it broke in shipping this came off so oh wow and the stores don't have it i can go right get a valve get a hydro rain valve take this completely off and interchange this i can't get it off because it's on there pretty tight but this will go right onto there so just wanted to let you know wanted to deliver this message to you thank you very much